Welcome back to Parsons and Parsimony. You guys have been asking about our rental property and well, we are in our next, hopefully not so slow, snail's pace challenge. But it's gonna be an unofficial snail's pace challenge. I'll show you what we're working on right now. This is the upstairs here and we're actually removing this partition. We worked on this part last night. That was a full partition with that paneling and now Art's just finishing this with the sliding door there. Oh dear, you know he's serious when he's got a crowbar. Yeah, gotta get this board off. I actually, think. I think this will, this will be out within the next few minutes, gauging by the wiggle there. Do you need me to hold it, Art? Well, uh, maybe. So our purpose here is to be putting in a bathroom on the second floor of this property. I'm just holding the wood for Art while, <laughs> while he's working on it. And Art's parents are potentially going to be coming in to help us with this project. So hopefully it will not be the snail's pace challenge because it won't be so slow. We'll have a fast snail. An enthusiastic snail art. The snail's always, snail is always enthusiastic, just, well, things happen in life. Right. Well, that's, that's just, that's how our life goes. So, uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of tour of the property for those of you who are new to our channel. And you guys get a kind of a feel for the place. And then cover a little bit of what we're hoping to do with the upstairs here. So, walking into the back of our rental. Uh, we ended up moving all of our bedroom stuff down here for the time being. This was uh, just an activity room and such, but we needed the space upstairs. So down here is just primarily uh, main, main bedroom for now. And then we've got a window, a door out to the front, refrigerator freezer right here. And then in here is our bathroom. And furnace is here, sink, and then the toilet is actually all the way in that corner right there. So this is what we have to work with plumbing wise. We cannot put the shower down here without major, major reconstruction and all of that. So we're leaving this as just a bathroom down here. We'll deal with this later, but all of our plumbing is right here and you'll see why that matters in just a minute. Okay, going up the stairs here, we have a door into what is going to be an apartment up here. And this was a large partition here. Now the bathroom is directly below us and right here is an, actually a closet. So our thought is, but this may change, if I step back here so you guys can get the big picture. We're thinking of making a bathroom here and then potentially a bedroom here with the living space being here. But we're not sure. We're not sure how it's all going to work out. Art's mom is a fabulous person. She used to do real estate and so she knows houses. She knows what works well for apartments and all of that. And they have kindly agreed to help us with this project, particularly with the design layout because of the plumbing issue and this being an old, old building, trying to figure out how to do the plumbing and things like that. We are going to be hiring out the electric uh, portion of this remodel project possibly the plumbing as well. We're still working on that piece. As you guys know, sometimes right now, it's really hard to get your hands on the right people for the right job. So we don't have someone lined up quite yet for the plumbing, but we're still looking. Worst comes worse, Art can do it, but we're trying to reduce how much Art needs to do to make this as quick as possible so this is not a snail's pace. And you have any wise words for our viewers? Uh, don't ever do this. No. <laughs> I think it's going to be a lot of fun, actually. Uh, next project was, well, first we had to get down the partition. I'm going to start helping clean up some of this. And then we're going to remove the carpet. Now, we believe the original hardwood floors are under here. I'm not sure what condition they are in. So 
we're going to find out pretty soon. We're going to attempt to repurpose and recycle and reuse whatever we can. So these screws are in really good shape. So we have a box for screws, box for nails, and see what we can use for this project as we go along. We are done for now. I tried to get some of the ceiling tiles out. They did not come out too well. I'm going to have to work on that a little bit more later. Uh, I think we have all the nails out of the boards. And we listed the paneling and the sliding door on the internet. We'll see if that sells or not. I'm back in the morning. I came here last night and I did some work. I'll show you what I got done. I finished pulling down all of the drop ceiling. There's the drop ceiling stack of it. And as you can see there are a lot of wires and things hanging down. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take down those uh, cross pieces from the drop ceiling and after that I'm going to pull down the tiles. First of all though, before I can even climb up on a ladder, I have to move all the insulation. There's nothing wrong with it, so I am going to reuse it. I think what I'm going to do is put it uh, up there, you can't see it, uh, but there's a little crawl space up in there. I'm going to put the insulation up there and it'll do the, have the same effect as insulation that was on top of the drop ceiling, but it'll just be up a little higher. So I am going to reuse this. So good up, Mouse. Yeah, we're going to use, reuse this, but I need it out of the way for now. We have to go to the post office now. We'll be back later today and we'll see how much we can get done. Now I need to get down the drop ceiling. I wonder if they caught a drop ceiling because you drop it when you take it down. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then, well, next is that stuff. Well, I'm going to finish this. And then I'm going to start working on the, the other drop ceiling. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it goes. Yep, it's going pretty fast. Yep. That should be done shortly. This used to be... Dad already took down the first ceiling. I don't know where it went though. It's outside. Oh, it's outside? Yes. Gotta hop over the box. Yeah, and then... We'll a few more. See? This is what it used to be. That's what it used to be. So Art's almost finished the first drop ceiling. He's just removing the last of the metal. And then we are picking up the uh, outside here, trying to beat the rain because they're saying showers today. So we went and got contractor grade bags here because this insulation is completely reusable. These are really good for construction if you guys have never had those. And so we are just bagging this up and the plan is to reuse this after we finish pulling down the ceiling. And Miss Hannah looks like she's ready to just fall asleep. I've been walking her around. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. She looks like she's done. I got the drop ceiling all the way down. Now I have to deal with these tiles and those are next. I also got the light fixtures down. Everything is ready to go. Now it's the exciting time. We got to rip. Just rip, rip, rip. Look at that. Those come down easily. It's going to take longer to move the ladder than to tear them down. Okay, in less than five minutes, we almost got the entire ceiling down. That was quick, wasn't it? That was really quick. Just a little bit of section over there. Then we're gonna try, see if we have time to finish up the wood. And hopefully the tin ceiling will be in really good shape. This has only been like 10 minutes. Yeah, not even. I know, this one, fast. I'm not used to things going this fast. Boy, your parents would be impressed. 
course, this is the teardown process, which is which always goes faster than the put together process. Oh, I can't wait to see the tin. Yeah, I try not. I don't want to pry it. Right, you don't want to bend the. So I'm mostly just pulling. Okay, our Collins almost got that one. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Do we get to see what's under there now? I'm not sure. Let's do it. Good, here we go. Watch out, it's probably gonna be really dirty. Yeah. Oh. There it is. <coughs> It's the original ceiling. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? No, it's not. Well, lots of um, water damage. Good paint. You're going to have to uh, figure that out, obviously. Layer brush it, prime it, paint it. 42 minutes, and we are all done. I was wondering if there was an access point to the upstairs or the attic type thing, and yes, there is. Uh, it's very small, but uh, anyway, it is an access point. So we're going to use that to put the um, the insulation up there, and probably do some wiring up there too when we when it comes time to do the wiring. So it is Saturday, and we have headed to uh, one of the parks in the area with the famous spring water. So if you guys are not familiar with the spring water of Saratoga Springs, Google it, check it out. It's really cool. It's full of minerals. You either love it or you hate it. Hate it. He hates it. I actually, I like it in small amounts. So, we, no, other way, she's got to face into you. So we're going to put Hannah, this is baby's first time in baby's the park. Baby's first powder. Yes. What's that? I've got it. All right, have you tried it yet? Yes, I tried this one. It tastes like eggs. Okay, grab that from me, please. It tastes like eggs. <laughs> There. All right, do you see? It is carbonated. It's so minerally. Yeah, it's all bubbly. It's disgusting. Okay. I eat it. I eat it. Hey, you know, it tastes like baking soda and water. Yeah, it's like a rust. It's nasty. That's not bad at all. Rust that's nasty. Baking soda and water. Okay, your turn. It's disgusting. No, don't dump it. I don't go back. Do you want to try it? It's not going to like it. You want to try a little bit? It's like seltzer. You want, this one's not nearly as... Do you want to try it? No, I already okay. tasted these before and I hate them. They taste absolutely nasty. That was not strong at all. It tastes like it's good for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the disappointment. Keep off the island. It's not an island. Who sticks down this one? Leave your tongue to this. Okay, this is the good one. You can tell how nasty okay. it is by the bark look. Picture. <laughs> it doesn't smell good. Don't, say, drink, don't drink it. It's, it's bad. <laughs> Tamer? <laughs> it's carbonated. Yes, it is. Just, Tastes as bad as it used to. It's um, <laughs> it's like a sulfur in it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they lost the tongue. Yeah? What do you think, Lily? Do you like it? Fine. Did you like the water? Uh-huh. Did you taste the spicy water? Yeah. I yeah. tasted all kinds of water. Did you like it? Three kinds. Did you like it? Yeah, some of them. Do you want to go drink some more? No, not some of the salty ones. Okay. That is what the egg stuff. And this is another, is another big uh, mineral deposit. But this is just 
this has stairs. Yes! Wow, that's kind of cool. It almost looks like lizard skin or something. Yes, it's kind of cool how the sheets of water are coming down. Yes, it is. Mom, look at the minerals. It turns into And this is the top. Comes off a runoff Watch pipe. That. Look at all those minerals, Art. Why is it Yikes! Wet? Soppy wet. Because there's a lot of iron in it. Cool. Mom. Is this a rotten egg one too? It smells That's like food. Smell it. Yeah. Smell it. Well, actually, it tastes like rotten egg. It tastes like a rust. All right. Here goes another one. Taste it. This one does not taste good. They're all salty. Yeah. It nope. like salt. It's, it's closed today. What? Can't go today. In preparation for events. Hannah, did you have any spring water? I don't think she did. No, not yet. Wonder which you know that's how you could try her, get her to like it. Is try it now. She'd probably start crying.